let's dive in. I mean, I'm, I'm super excited about a number of these announcements, but before we do that, let's welcome our special guest, yes. Jerry Du, CEO of Lana Index. How are you? Awesome. Amazing. Amazing. So l- tell us a little bit about Llama Index. Like what, what, what did, um, issues is it solved? Great. Uh, so uh, Llama Index is a developer's tool for helping developers build LM applications over their data. And, and so, you know, MongoDB is, is all about data, right? And it, so uh, especially, you know, we talked a lot about like Atlas as an interface for storage for both vectors as well as different types of documents. And so our goal is really to connect all that data from, say, unstructured data sources, load it into a database like Atlas, and then also enable developers to orchestrate over that with LMs. And so all the different types of applications you see these days, including Greg, Portrigal Augmented Generation, Agents, uh, structured data extraction, anything to do with our headwork models, we provide the tooling and the platform to enable. Amazing. So you mentioned unstructured data. That kind of fits perfectly with MongoDB. Mm. So we love that. Um, w- Another thing is like the a- ideal AI stack in your mind. Like, what does that look like? Yeah. So first, you need some sort of ingestion layer uh, from your unstructured data sources, whether it's a PDF or your raw, you know, data somewhere in your CRM, for instance, or your workplace tool. And then you want to load that into uh, a database or storage layer. And so we provide that service through both our open source tooling as well as uh, Llama Cloud or enterprise platform. Then, of course, you want the storage layer itself, like MongoDB. Um, and then you want the right tooling for developers. Uh, and we provide a framework for developers, basically uh, use MongoDB along with any sort of LLM embedding model of your choosing to basically build these applications. And so similar to how React is like a framework for the web or a framework for LLM applications, specifically over your meaning amazing terms. What are some of the, the challenges that you've seen developers face when building out an application like prototyping it and then going to production. Yeah, I think, I think that's really one of the biggest um, things these days, which I feel like, you know, it's honestly pretty easy to gloss over some of the really like key complexities and actually make something into production. I think a lot of the stuff that you see out there, including some of these like surface level talks, will teach you how to build something really basic. We're really for when we talk to enterprise developers, one of the biggest challenges they find is how to actually build RAG or any sort of like agent in production. And it's very easy to prototype something in a notebook. It's very hard to take that and then put that into production likely. Um, and so, you know, we've been thinking really deeply about this problem. And it really, you need the right components at every layer of the stack from data parsing to data extraction um, to basically advanced retrieval algorithms. Um, and all of these are necessary to basically get you higher performance that reduce hallucination rates and actually give you something that's a lot. Amazing, amazing. So, like, what are some of the high-level use cases that, that you see in production? Yeah, I mean, like, for the past year, I mean, I'm sure you've heard about this, too. Like, a lot of the main use cases are, are chatbots over your data. Um, and they're pretty, like, boring. But honestly, like, um, that in itself is actually a pretty complex problem. Imagine, like, you don't just have five PDFs, but you have, like, a million PDFs. Like, how do you actually do proper retrieval over that data and feed it into the language model so it's context-aware? Um, that's something that we focused on pretty extensively in the past year. Um, these days, though, we're starting to see a lot more multi-hop agentic reasoning um, where, you know, you, I think you was know, talking about like coding assistance, for instance, but like knowledge or context augmented like research assistance that can go in and not just like answer a question, but actually work on tasks autonomously for you yeah. and then do that in the background. And so we're investing very heavily in abstractions and tooling and, and like uh, services there. Mm. So are agents the future? Yeah, probably. I mean, I think um, the UX is actually quite interesting. I think if you look at a chatbot, it's like a human has to be in the loop for basically everything. I don't know if you guys have played around with a platform like Devin, for instance, like a software engineer, but like it's kind of like a different experience. It's like you have an intern um, that needs a little bit of guidance, uh, actually a decent amount of guidance. But at the same time, you know, you have to you can leave it alone for for like a few hours or so. and It'll go off and like do things on its own. Um, That overall experience is something I'm pretty excited about. Amazing, amazing. Maybe we can go around and just like say like the, the our favorite thing from the announcements. Mine was that ve- search and vector search are coming to MongoDB Community Edition, so we'll be able to to do that locally on on our computers, and then we'll deploy it to the cloud a bit later on. But that's amazing that it's going to be there. Yeah, democratizing. Exactly. What's your favorite? I loved how MongoDB Compass Query Generation is now actually generally available. 
So that is super, super cool. If you haven't used Compass before, you should totally download it, try it out, and then let us know what you think. Yeah. So how about you? Natural language queries, right? Yeah. yeah. In Compass. You don't have to remember all of the aggregation pipe, pipelines and the stages. Exactly. And exactly. Yeah, it just sounds, Just type it out, and it just gives you this, the stages for you. Yeah, so for me, it's just, I'm a server engineer from way back. So the numbers that they're talking about in terms of how fast MongoDB 8.0 is, I mean, that's just incredible. 64% increases on time series data. Okay, so yeah, and looking forward to getting my hands on that. Amazing, you amazing, yeah. And I mean, I'm biased, but I'm excited about the, uh, you know, the applications program. Yeah, uh, MAP, MAP, uh, yeah, MAP, MAP uh, that's the acronym. So, uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're part of that stack. Like we want to, basically we're excited about the applications that people are building on top of MongoDB. And I know Dev kind of outlined like that as one of like key components that delivers value for enterprises. And so I think really helping to bridge that gap, there's a lot of people out there that don't really know like all the nitty gritty details of how to build like production rag or AI. And and I think like having services like this will really help bridge that gap. Amazing. I have one question for you, Jerry. Yeah. Where can developers who are watching go for more resources on Llama Index? Yeah, so we have a pretty comprehensive documentation page on how to get started. Um, in fact, you know, we're probably like, we have the best abstractions in terms of how do you actually learn um, how to build like rag from both like prototype to production. And so the entire docs is basically organized in a sequence of like simple to advanced concepts. And so it's actually very uh, friendly to both beginners as well as experienced users. And so I definitely recommend checking out the docs. If you're like an enterprise company and you're interested in like, you know, like sales stuff, like feel free to uh, check out our website. We have like a contact for us on. Amazing, amazing. So I do, I do want to remind folks that yeah. uh, in the description, there is a link to click for more information about the updates that were announced in today's keynotes. So check those out for sure. Yes, links in the description. Um, amazing. That was rapid fire. Thank <laughs> you again for coming on. Um, we're going to go now to a quick, actually, we're going to do a quick sponsor um, uh, read here, and then we're going to go to a quick break. Yep. So I, I want to take a moment and thank our sponsor, Accenture. Uh, today's episode is brought to you by Accenture, a uh, global professional services powerhouse specializing in IT services and consulting with operations in over 120 countries, Accenture is committed to delivering on the promise of technology and human ingenuity. Whether you're looking to innovate, grow, or to redefine your business, Accenture offers expertise and insight to bring your vision to life. From AI and cloud solutions, the comprehensive digital transformation strategies, Accenture collaborates with leading companies like MongoDB to drive change and shape the future of business. Thank you to Accenture. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Quick break, and we'll be right back with our next guest. Thank you again, Jerry, for joining us. Thank, Thank you, Jerry. You.